Hello everyone, today we're looking at my Chihuahua in Unreal Engine. Now, I've done a number of updates to it. We're inside of the animation map where we're showing off all the different animations. And we have death, dying, running, galloping, walking, eating, sniffing, begging, flipping, you name it. Uh, the Chihuahua has a ton of animations that come with it. Uh, if we exit out of this map, we also have an AI map that we're going to look at later, which I include a new AI system that allows you to just drag and drop it into your scene. And then you can use it, uh, uh, or if you're prototyping, you can rewrite your own using some of the scripts that I, or uh, the blueprints that I supply. So, uh, let's look at the main folder. We have a bunch of different folders. Animation we'll look at in a minute. Uh, blueprints we'll look at at the end. we just seen the maps. We'll look at the materials that come with this. Six different uh, materials for the Chihuahua. So different coats for the Chihuahua. And, um, and they're all PBR materials. Uh, and we have the mesh with the physics. Let's um, simulate the physics. We can turn the bone to none. And then we can pick up the Chihuahua. Here's his physics. And we have a skeleton, of course. Textures. These are all 2K textures. A uh, bunch of different uh, coats, styles. Uh, three different normals that match those coats. And a roughness map. Um, animation now. There's a ton of animation for the Chihuahua. Uh, first, we'll look at the blend space. This is the blend space that comes with the Chihuahua for and is used inside of the um, AI system. All right. And now animation, a little begging animation, and then a dead animation. Drinking. Then dying, eating, flip, idle, idle two, idle three, idle four, idle five, idle six, seven, eight. Then we have idle to lay, a transition, idle to sit, idle play, scratching, scratching on the other side, sniffing, jumping, landing, laying, lay to, Lay three, four, I should probably move this up. Lay to sit, even has peeing, rolling over, a run canter, and then more of a run gallop. Scratching like dogs do. Sit one, sit two, sit three, sit four, sit five, sit idle, sit two idle, sit to lay, playing with a toy, turning left. Turning right, walking, walk sniff, 
and then a bunch of expressions. <laughs> Barking, blinking, happy and sad. All right, now we can get into the AI system. So I include a, bunch, uh, a few blueprints. We can load the AI map. And we just have a few chihuahuas on the ground. But if we hit play, we'll see that the chihuahuas will just randomly walk around and do things. Now it's already set up with a nav mesh and everything. You have to make sure you add na a nav mesh to your scene. But there's one sniffing around. There's one eating, it looks like. And they're all just wander around and you can interact with them. So if I come up close, he just saw me. So now he's running away. Same thing with this one. This one will see me. Yep. Now he's running away. And not to be cruel. I don't want to be pegged as a, a dog killer. <laughs> but you can kill them just by bumping them. Just like that. And, okay. So, uh, we can take a quick look at the blueprints. This is the animation blueprint for it. And uh, all the animation and all the different transitions. Sleeping, eating, turning, death, uh, walk sniff. Um, and all the different transitions that it needs. You could take this an animation blueprint and then use it in your own code. Uh, write your own code for the AI or whatever. Um, now we can look at the blueprint here. It's a, a little bit complex blueprint. Um, this is just um, mostly for when you're prototyping and stuff. It's nice to just drag and drop, not have to write all this code for your AI. So that's why I'm giving away these uh, AI systems. It's not the best AI system in the world. You could definitely improve on it. Uh, but it has a number of uh, super easy features. If you don't want them to die, you can turn that off by checking that or if you don't want them to see people like and then run away you can turn that off also and uh, the code basically um, makes a bunch of decisions at the top and it also drains energy and hunger while it's moving around and then there's some basic logic as to what it wants to do and it's all random very randomly generated uh, it then it can regain energy and regain hunger when it rests or eats. So there's what it does when it rests, what it does when it eats. It can take damage. Uh, detection is sight. That's where it sees something and then runs away. Uh, there, it does a hit check to see if something collided with it and then uh, um, degrades its health. And then it can revive itself and regain its health. Uh, there we go. There's the runaway code. Here's the roaming code. But you can take this apart, alter it, do whatever you want with it. On the left-hand side here, if you click that top one, you'll see all the different options that you could change. Some of them you probably don't want to change. But if you want to edit some of these, like how far it can run away, um, the run speed and walk speed, you probably don't want to change because they're set. Or if you do, you can play around with it. Um, but you can change like max energy, how long the resting time is, how much time they spend eating, how much time they spend idling, things like that. And like I said, you can turn death and sight off. And um, what else? AI perception, you can alter how far they can see uh, a, 
an opposing character in the scene. So this is set to 150. You could change that to further or closer. But that's a quick look at the AI or the blueprint system. The blueprint that I'm giving away. But that's a quick look at the um, Chihuahua in Unreal Engine. And it's really simple. I really made this so you could just drag and drop this blueprint into the scene. And then it just goes. But that's a look at my Chihuahua in Unreal Engine. Have a good one, everyone.